Hi guys, I'm glad you're here because we're going to talk about a lot of stuff in this video. It's going to be very interesting. Whoa, you're wondering why I have those chains? Well, what does it bring to your mind? Slavery, criminality, control, corruption. Let me ask you a question. What is the opposite of that? I'm going to answer that question. It's this. And this is the blockchain. People relate blockchain to Bitcoin. And that's sad because Bitcoin is just one tiny application of the blockchain. But often the problem is that people see Bitcoin as something used by criminals, anti-government people, for money laundering, tax evasion, and all that stuff. But the blockchain actually makes things transparent, democratic, secure, efficient, and most important of all, decentralized, you guessed it. It's nothing less than a revolution, and I'm serious here. I'm not overreacting or anything. If you want to know why I'm saying that, just watch till the end of the video and you will understand. You'll be surprised when you realize that everything in our society is actually central. Well, let me put that down because, yeah. All right, I just put the chains down because man, it was heavy. So you'll be surprised when you realize that everything in our society is actually centralized. And that causes many issues. But what does centralized mean exactly? When cent well, centralization is actually when an entity, an authority controls an activity. So basically, banks control money, for instance. I'm gonna talk about that right in a sec. This video will be longer than usual because I thought that might get you bored a bit, you know? It doesn't hurt. Now, for real, after you watched it, you will have another perspective on the blockchain, really. So I strongly advise you to watch it till the end. There will be a bonus, but don't tell anyone. Since I know your time is valuable, let's get right into it. The reason why so many industries are centralized now is because the technology so far available couldn't allow a safe decentralization. And this is mainly the reason why governments, energy, education, and other systems have become centralized. It would have been total chaos otherwise. But this allowed a few to take control of various industries. And now this can be disrupted, thanks to the blockchain, you guessed it, and bring balance to a world that most certainly needs it. If you don't know what the blockchain is, well, you can kick out of this video. No, seriously, I'm, I'm, go I'm not gonna teach you the technical details, all right? Not for this video, maybe another one. But basically, it's a record of who owns what. That cannot be modified, it cannot be hacked or very, very, and I insist on the very hardly. It doesn't allow corruption if it's well implemented since you, you have to take control over half of the network. And if the network is big, well, it's almost impossible to hack it. And in most cases, an interesting fact is that the blockchain cuts the need of a middleman. So basically, you can reconnect suppliers and customers together by building trust, transparency, and cutting fees and reducing prices then. So the first industry is the banking industry. Well, that's obvious. Cryptocurrencies are all about it, so I won't spend much time on it. There are plenty of resources on YouTube and on our channel and on the web, so I won't spend much time on it. I just, I'd rather talk about the prospects, right? Which I find much more interesting. Today's society is all about the money, and who controls the money controls everything. And today, the money is controlled by banks. Most cryptocurrencies aim to cut the need of banks, and in such a world, everybody would be able to trade with the need of banks and banks would gradually disappear, bringing balance to the world. Well, obviously the problem is that banks won't let that happen. They have power to prevent that, so they won't let it happen. But wait, it can still revolutionize banking. Other solutions consist of working with banks instead of disrupting them and improving their systems. That's where Ripple comes in the game. They are becoming used more and more, and that's because it insanely improves the bank systems. We made a video where I give you the, the top 5 reasons why Ripple can change the banking industry. And it solves a 20 trillion dollars problem. 20 trillion dollars. You want to know what it is? Check out the video. Now our second industry is cybersecurity. It's becoming more and more important in today's world. Back in the 80s, nobody cared. It was a minor issue. But big companies today realize that they need to secure their systems. Otherwise, they will lose customers and lose money. A lot of money. The global economic impact of cyber criminality is actually $1 trillion a year and it's expected to reach $6 trillion in 2021 a year. So, so far the blockchain is solving a $26 trillion problem. $26 trillion problem. That's insane. This just with those two first points. So there is a big economic stake here. But how can the blockchain make the internet safer? Well, today, almost everything that we use on the internet is centralized. Let's consider an example. Banks use web services to make their customers have a better experience, an easier experience while they manage their accounts, right? These services are directly connected to a banking system. 
a single central control system. But what if the system gets hacked? That's the point. If it gets hacked, hackers can take information about users and steal a lot of money. A lot of money. But now let's switch. Let's consider an example with the blockchain. The information about the transaction are secured by the blockchain technology and each transaction is wrote one after the other. And that cannot be modified. Also, as I already said, with the blockchain, everything is decentralized. So you don't need one central control system, but you need many control systems now. And each of, each of those have its own record, its, its own data. So even if the system gets hacked, the attackers have to control at least 50% of the half of all the network. And, well, I can tell you that that makes the attack a little bit trickier. Another important thing with the blockchain is that everything's trustable. If you want to know what happened in the past, the transaction that happened in the past, you just check out the history like you do with your browser, for example. Phishing is also a big problem. If you don't know what it is, phishing is basically a method that cyber criminals use to steal your information and your passwords, for example, directly from you, the user. One of the most popular phishing techniques is sending fake emails. So you, so you receive a mail from a company, but it's not actually the real company, the actual company. And they're asking you to, to give your information, your password, to log in, but they actually, since it's not the company, they're actually taking all your information. So basically, you, you're fucked if it happens, you know? Shit happens. So inexperienced users can be hacked that way by giving their information. But know that with the blockchain, you don't need to be logged with only with a password anymore. There are other methods to be logged in, like with your device, for example, with a specific device. Continue watching this video because I'm going to talk about a cryptocurrency that is very, very interesting, very special, that may revolutionize everything. So stick around. Next thing we're going to talk about is supply chain management. What is it? Well, the formal definition is the sequence of processes involved in the production and distribution of a commodity. Okay, let's take an example. Just say that you bought a really nice bottle of whiskey. Yeah, one behind the camera really loves whiskey. This bottle has to get into a lot of hands before it reaches your house. First the production of the bottle, then the delivery to your door. Wait, somebody knocked? Okay, now let's add a bit of blockchain to our example. Now let's add a small chip on every single bottle. Now every bottle can be traced on the blockchain because one property provided by the blockchain is traceability as we talked about. We know at each moment where the bottle is and even more importantly, we can now know if the bottle comes from the expensive liquor store we bought it in. So using the blockchain, the authenticity of a product can be verified. And this can be used to fight against counterfeit products or even counterfeit medicines. We'll talk about it later in the video. So the blockchain can improve trust and security of the provenance of products. So it can be used to ensure that products mark marked as fair trade, for example, or organic, are really what it says it is. Because so far, all you have is trusting the brand. And you know as well as I do that it's not the best way, right? So this technology allows a transparent monitoring of the product at every point of the supply chain. So at every point, we can have a lot of data concerning the product, like the price, the date, the location, the labor needed, and all of that stuff, right? Big companies have already started working on it, like Walmart, UPS, British Airways, and others. So the blockchain can be used for everything. And guess what? It can even be used for healthcare and save millions of lives. But how? I'm gonna tell you that. First of all, we can imagine a big, but like big database that runs on the blockchain and that contains all the health information of the world. And by health information, I mean all the, all the diseases that have been discovered, the treatment therapies of these diseases, and medicines and all that stuff. And each doctor would have immediate access to this data using just their simple, just their phone, you know? Just that, you can use that and have access to instant access to everything. This is even more useful when patients have unusual diseases because doctors can check out the information and the treatments about these diseases directly on the blockchain. And we'll talk about it later in the video. We're talking in terms of lives here. The blockchain can directly save millions of lives. And because this data can be accessed very easily and securely, this solves a lot of problems like waste of time, money, or human mistakes. If you're interested, there is a project called MedRec and they're trying to build a one-stop access to all these medical records. Besides, each year, one million people die from counterfeit drugs. Counterfeit drugs are difficult to distinguish from real medicines and they are cheaper, which means that 
they are more affordable to people who uh, can't afford real medicine. As we've already seen, the blockchain provides traceability. And by using this, medicines can be traced and even better, you can know which medicines are being counterfeited. So if the medicine you're buying does, is not on the blockchain, that's not a medicine you want to buy, definitely not. You can check out Jeb and Tyrion, if I pronounce it correctly, to learn about the work being done right now about it. The last industry we're going to talk about is not that much of an industry, it's actually much more important, is the government. Presidential elections are often victim of attacks or corrupted, and this can be avoided with the use of the blockchain by voter registration, verification and counting a, bit, a more secure counting of the votes. The governments, as we know them today, no matter which one you take a look at, they're all corrupted and there is fraud at different levels of intensity, okay? But there is. This is because some elected officials use their power to fulfill their own ambition. So let's imagine for a moment a blockchain setting the rules on which the government is based. Say it's the Dutch government and let's call the blockchain the Gov blockchain to make it simple. Now, imagine every contract being done every transaction being proceeded, every paycheck being proceeded, every vote being done. Imagine all of this data being recorded on the blockchain. It would make it transparent. We can imagine that any verified citizen could access the, the data he's authorized to access to. For example, how much is paid a government official. Or we could store all contracts being made on the blockchain and auto-manage them through smart contracts. But what is the smart contract? The smart contract is the technique used alongside with the blockchain. It's a representation of a contract, basically. So, to illustrate this, imagine the, our government, the Dutch government, and a company. Both establish a contract. The government says, okay, I'm going to transfer to you every year $3 billion if you build highways in the country. So, a smart contract will be created so that each year the government automatically transfers the $3 billion to the company. And if the highways are not built, no transfer happens automatically. Nobody has to handle anything. It is actually coded. So with the blockchain, we could have a record of all past, current, and future contracts. All of them being managed automatically. So this would mean less paperwork, less waste of money. So the blockchain could clean the governance from the unnecessary and make them more reliable, transparent, and fair. As a side note, Dubai plans to, pull, to put all its government files on the blockchain in 2020. So work is already being done. For example, Circles is working on a universal income using the blockchain. And you can also check out GovCoin, democracy.earth and followmyvote.com for more information. We could also apply the technology on the democracy to improve it. For example, people would be able to vote for anything. I don't know if it's a good idea in itself, but it is possible. Which brings me to the next point, Augur. Augur is the system which sparks my interest the most more than any other cryptocurrency, definitely. It allows you to, to bet on anything. Today, you have bet on tomorrow's football match, the stock market, presidential elections. They, they involve cash and some don't. But how the hell would Augur help us? Well, imagine those predictions being made on a worldwide scale, keeping it secure and transparent. This is what Augur brings to the table. It will be more accurate than any other prediction method since the number of people voting will be very large and they will put their actual money in the game so they will think real hard about the possible outcomes more than once. So that's already a freaking good marketing point but here comes the real game changer. Imagine this being used by experts. Imagine a patient at the hospital, his name is Jack. Jack came yesterday after fainting twice in a day. Looking at the symptoms, Dr. Sparrow doesn't know what the, what the heck is going on with Jack. And time is of the essence. So he pulls out his phone and calls the best doctor he knows in emergency. But before Mr. Best Doctor comes, sadly, Jack is dead. Now let's rewind. Instead of calling the best doctor he knows, Dr. Sparrow creates a bet on the Augur platform. After 10 minutes, he's got the diagnosis of the 10 best doctors about that type of disease in the world. Turns out, 8 out of 10 agreed. It's a very rare disease that happens in one person in a million. They give him the correct treatment and Jack leaves. The blockchain has just saved one more life. We can actually use that for anything where expertise is required. The best experts around the world can be verified and remunerated if they predict correctly, which gives the best prediction possible real fast. Now, of course, these predictions can be wrong if most of the voters are wrong, 
But since they put their real money in the bet, it is, they will think real hard about it and only the verified best doctors will be voting. So which gives a really accurate outcome. We've not listed everything in here, but this is our top five of the best applications of the blockchain. Your industry is likely to be improved by the blockchain as well. If you have ideas you want to share, tell us in the comment section below. We're really looking forward to what you can come up with. Thank you for staying till the end. I hope we were able to teach you some good things today. If you want to learn more and have a second episode of this series, check out our channel and subscribe because we're going to raise a new one soon. So do so, share it, like. It really helps us out to improve and give you the best content. And then I'll see you as usual in the next one.